All around the world, it is estimated that there are about 1,350 active volcanoes. Many of these volcanoes are located in remote areas and pose very little threat to human life. Others are located within close proximity to large cities and are capable of unleashing untold levels of destruction. When thinking about the most dangerous volcano on Earth, the Yellowstone supervolcano often comes to mind. But, for various reasons, many scientists believe this is not true, and that there are many other volcanoes that pose a far greater risk to human life. If any of these volcanoes were to erupt, the fallout could be unlike anything we have ever seen before. From Italy to the United States, here are five volcanoes that may just be more dangerous than Yellowstone. For many people, Yellowstone represents the most dangerous volcano in the world, and the truth is, it likely deserves that title. Its destructive ability is possibly unmatched, leading to NASA listing it as one of the greatest natural hazards. However, many would also argue that the threat from Yellowstone is overstated. Not because it doesn't possess extreme power, but because an eruption anytime soon, or even in the next several thousand years, is extremely unlikely. Therefore, other volcanoes around the world would actually rank higher than Yellowstone in terms of the immediate risk that they pose. One of these volcanoes is Campi Flegrei. Located northwest of the wonderful city of Naples, this volcano is known to be one of the largest and most dangerous in all of Europe. However, to call it only a volcano would be an understatement. Much like Yellowstone, Campi Flegrei is a supervolcano and is possibly the most dangerous in the entire world. That is why it is worrying that the province of Naples and its three million inhabitants are so close to this monster, which has had much more recent major eruptions than Yellowstone. If Campi Flegrei were to erupt at scale, an area of unimaginable size would be completely destroyed. Not only that, but the effects would be felt around the globe, with tsunamis, economic devastation, and lowered temperature all being very real possible outcomes. According to recent studies, the volcano seems to be changing, maybe even preparing for an eruption. However, scientists consider that it is still too early to evacuate the population, and that the best that we can do is to monitor it and be alert to any changes. Still, an eruption wouldn't necessarily occur at the scale we mentioned. It's very possible, maybe even more likely, that a smaller eruption would occur. For now, all we can do is wait and hope for the best. With a height of 4,400 meters above sea level, Mount Rainier is a stratovolcano that is considered to be one of the most dangerous in the world. Located in Pierce County in the state of Washington, it is estimated that this volcano has erupted at least a dozen times in the last 2,600 years. Its last eruption was in 1894. Unlike other volcanoes that have been dormant for thousands of years, it is believed that Mount Rainier could erupt again, although experts have not been able to determine when. If it were to erupt, the consequences could be catastrophic. This volcano is surrounded by a large amount of glacial ice, which would produce massive lahars, a type of fluid composed of volcanic sediments and a large amount of water that would endanger the entire Puyallup River Valley. Since Mount Rainier is located near a highly populated area, the eruption of this volcano could cause roads connecting Tacoma to Seattle to be buried bringing possible food and supply shortages to Seattle. About 80,000 people are at immediate risk should Mount Rainier erupt, not to mention countless businesses, hydroelectric dams, and major seaports. To make matters worse, it's unlikely that there would be any advanced warning. 
Studies by the USGS show that, in the past, one of Mount Rainier's eruptions may have occurred when the volcano was quiet and showed no signs of activity. Let's just hope that, for the time being, this volcano continues to remain dormant because, for all we know, the effects could be even worse than anticipated. When we hear about Hawaii, we imagine a group of people wearing flower necklaces on its beautiful beaches. However, the beauty of the Hawaiian archipelago goes beyond that, as it contrasts with its great volcanic presence. In other words, living on one of these islands means facing constant risk of volcanic activity. Among the most dangerous, young, and active volcanoes in the world is the Kilauea volcano which tends to be almost constantly in a state of eruption. In 2018, the volcano had an eruption which swallowed cars and as many as 700 homes and caused the largest earthquake experienced on the island in years. Despite not having such an imposing size as opposed to other volcanoes, the Kilauea volcano is among the most dangerous on the planet due to the frequency of its eruptions and its proximity to civilization. Although it does not have the power to compare to a large volcano, its eruptions have the potential to displace entire families and destroy entire areas with its lava. Today, Kilauea consistently ranks as one of, if not the most dangerous volcano in the United States. Another notable and dangerous volcano located in the state of Washington is Mount St. Helens, a stratovolcano approximately 2,549 meters or 8,363 feet tall that is part of the Cascade Volcanic Arc, a segment of the Pacific Ring of Fire. What made this volcano known was the great eruption of May 18, 1980, which gave rise to the deadliest and most economically destructive volcanic event in the history of the United States. According to reports from that date, an estimated 57 people lost their lives in the eruption, which also destroyed 200 homes, 47 bridges, 15 miles of railroad tracks, and 185 miles of roadway. The massive debris avalanche caused a lateral eruption that reduced the elevation of the mountain's summit from 9,677 feet to 8,363 feet. Naturally, all the debris it lost in height rolled downhill, destroying everything in its path. Today, geologists estimate that future eruptions of Mount St. Helens will be even more destructive as the configuration of the lava domes requires higher pressure to erupt again. So, we could face a higher death toll if we are not able to predict this phenomenon and evacuate nearby areas in time. It's hard to believe that beneath the calm waters of Lake Taupo lies a power capable of ravaging the Earth. However, this volcano in the northern islands of New Zealand has such destructive potential that it is terrifying just to imagine it unleashing its more than 50,000 years of accumulated fury. Over the last 70,000 years, the Taupo volcano has erupted many times. The most recent super eruption was the Orua Nui eruption, which occurred at about 26,500 BCE and ranked as an 8 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index. For comparison, the 1980 Mount St. Helens eruption ranked as a 5, but just barely. Since then, there have been at least 28 violent eruptions, but none quite as big. Should this volcano erupt again in a similar fashion, the effects would be unprecedented and could likely lead to a worldwide economic collapse. But there is no need to panic just yet. Scientists have stated that the risk of an eruption of any size occurring within the next 500 years is extremely low, about 1 in 800. So, for now, the risk remains low from the Lake Taupo volcano. 
As one of the most dangerous volcanoes on Earth, Mount Vesuvius is located in one of the most densely populated volcanic regions in the world, representing an unmistakable part of the Bay of Naples. Although it is not the largest volcano in the world, the existence of Vesuvius endangers the millions of inhabitants of Naples who would fall victim to the inevitable flow of volcanic debris should it erupt again. Each of Vesuvius' eruptions has been characterized as very violent, demonstrating great ferocity for a volcano of just 1,281 meters or 4,200 feet in height. But height is not usually relevant when it comes to a volcano's power. One of its most famous eruptions was in the year 79 BC, when the ancient Roman city of Pompeii became a victim of this volcano. In just 25 hours, the city was completely destroyed and buried, and its victims were preserved in the ashes to this day. After Pompeii was rediscovered in 1748 under a few meters of pumice and volcanic ash, the city became of great international historical importance thanks to the survival of many priceless objects and artifacts. This discovery, which helped us learn how our ancestors lived and shed a little light among so much mystery, made many of today's Roman movies and series possible. Sadly, the eruption of Mount Vesuvius did not stop at Pompeii, as it also destroyed the cities of Herculaneum, Oplantis, and Stabiae among other possible settlements. Although it is estimated that many people managed to escape, the population density of Naples, along with its proximity to the volcano, makes this great city at serious risk should another major eruption occur. In other words, if Mount Vesuvius erupts, the consequences could be as catastrophic as the ones we learn about in the history books, causing the tragedy of Pompeii to be relived and many of its new victims to be trapped in its volcanic ash. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more just like it, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next time.